Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Kester Amos once again. I'm still uh, flexing my heart from the Republic of Ghana. So, uh, yeah, we are actually uh, preparing another pond here in Bielsa State. Uh, there are actually going to be three very big ponds, but right now we have two constructed. So what we are doing currently is the liming of the pond. We're going to take you around. The video is going to take a uh, little time. So we're doing the liming of the pond. Uh, why are we liming the pond? We're trying to kill off any organism inside there in order for us to have a safe environment for the fishes when they are introduced. So this lime is going to raise the uh, water and soil pH and also, uh, in other uh, sense, it's going to kill the microorganisms and every other organism that will be inside that pond at this point and also grow. Uh, so it's also going to grow the uh, blue-green algae population in the pond that is going to uh, be very good for the fishes when they are introduced so that is what we are doing so basically when you finish constructing your earth pond what you do is you lime it round you use calcium carbonate to do the liming so when you lime it you can see the dikes of the pond so we lime both the dike and the water itself so we lime both the dike and the water itself so every organism in here in the next two days is going to be dead. So after about seven days, after about seven to 14 days, the pond will be ready for stocking. So from the next three days, it's going to be dormant. It's going to be quiet. There's nothing. There's going to be no existence of life in the pond. Until after about 14 days, you start to see some water organisms existing in the pond. So that tells you that it is safe for stocking at that point so you can stock after 14 days so that is the essence of the liming so after this liming the next thing we'll do is to fertilize it so after the liming two to three days later we'll fertilize the pond so it's also going to take some period before the stocking so we'll just show you around and um, you can see the fencing work Yeah, you can see we are fenced each round. Usually when you dig an S pond, you fence it round so that in the course of liming, whatever is there is a presumed dead. We don't want things going inside. So for anything to have access into the pond, it has to at least cross over this height. So that is why you see that we are fenced it round. So that's the essence of it. And uh, of course, the ponds are made uh, longer. This time we are building some very long ponds. Like the second one, this is about 50 feet. The second one is about 100 feet. So the longer and bigger the pond, the better the growth ratio of the fishes. So we'll take you to the longer side of the uh, farm. So we'll just call it a big. So actually we're gonna have two more ponds here that will measure eight meters by 30 meters. That is 27 feet by 100 feet. So we're gonna have two of them here. All right, so you can see this is 100 feet. So the length of this pond is 25 by 100. It's quite a massive one. So we have designed it that way in order for us to have a better growth ratio. Uh, so we're going to talk more about the shape and sizes of ponds and the impact they make or the role they play in the growth of fishes in our next video. But for today, we want to call it a day. We're just showing you the process of liming the pond and why your earth pond must be limed and fenced after construction so thank you and once again god bless you and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave us a message
click on the bell icon so whenever we upload videos you get a notification number to call once again is plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two god bless you and bye bye